Okay, let's consider this statement. The people get the government they deserve. Is it really true? Um, they don't get the government they... Well, that's not a good way to say it. They don't select the government they get. Let's put it that way. Um, when you consider the fact that 25% uh, or less vote to uh, elect anyone who gets elected and in, in the uh, primaries when they're nominating their candidates it's, e it's even fewer than that it's of such a small percentage it's laughable five ten percent maybe maybe if if five of the uh, uh, of the people even in the party forget the population as a whole of the people even in the party that that's doing the nomination I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but I'd say it's definitely less than 5% that actually participate in the caucuses and the primaries. It's not as if people are actually selecting the candidate. You'll say, well, by virtue of their uh, uh, inact inactivity, their, their, their idleness, they, uh, they, whatever they get is what they deserve. Okay, well, there are other factors too to consider. The government that's in place, which by the way consists of members of either party, the Democratic or the Republican Party, they have this, um, well, the threat of force to hang over the heads of all the people. They, they coerce the people, to put it uh, mildly, to behave in a particular way. They own the, own whatever, run, control the election commissions. They count the votes, whether it be one party or another. It's definitely not not them. The the news media. Let's consider the news media. Is the information that the people get uh, accurate? Is it is it uh, true? Does it give them a a, a a clear picture? Does it give them an, a a true picture of of what the world looks like? Well, no, of course not. Most uh, people who prefer the Republican uh, party would tell you that most of the media is biased in favor of the Democratic Party. And most people who prefer the Democratic Party would tell you that Fox News and uh, talk radio, I guess, as a whole, is biased in favor of the Republican Party. And they're both right. It's all true. But that adds up to what? That adds up to a, uh, a media um, sector that is uh, biased in favor of those two parties. You see? So it's not, it's not as if they're, they're looking objectively at the world and, 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 uh, and telling you, reporting the news from the perspective of someone who, who is, is unbiased, who doesn't really favor one or the other team or, uh, the, the, uh, establishment, which as a whole favors both teams and not their negation. In other words, not the uh, notion of, of uh, not electing someone who is part of one of those two parties. That's what you get. So that's, that's what we have. We have uh, the information that people receive is uh, polluted, corrupted, contaminated, manipulated. Um, sometimes there is outright fraud and lies, and all of this is demonstrable. We can show it. In fact, I, I mean, I'm the, of the opinion that if you don't believe that it, that the news is manipulated, you're deluded. You you uh, you are you're deceiving yourself. You believe something about the the owners of those uh, of the outlets that you don't believe about any other person. Uh, and I've talked about that before. Um, Okay, so we consider that the peop the information that people receive is contaminated, polluted, um, manipulated. Uh, it's not a, a, an accurate picture of the world. So they don't they don't, the people don't have the correct information on which to act. I guess you could say they're brainwashed. I think that's fair to say. Um, and in addition to that, there is coercion. The people are coerced to behave in in, in certain ways. They're browbeaten. Uh, to believe that the the government is their master and and they are uh, in some sense its servant when you know in in word and in literature we all pretend as if it's the other way around as if we, as if the the elected officials are there to serve the people somehow weird it's strange how how um 
the the opposite of what is it usually asserted is actually the truth. But when we consider all this, uh, do, can we really blame the people for being sheep? I mean, they are, after all, under the influence of manipulation and coercion. There's the issue of voter fraud. There's the issue of fraud. And we, we, we consider the fact that it's either going to be a member of the uh, Republican Party or the uh, Democratic Party who ends up counting the votes, and neither one of them are disinterested. Is it really reasonable to believe that there is no fraud or that the fraud is, is so infrequent that it, it's negligible, that the result of it is negligible? And again, if, if there is uh, any kind of... Uh, manipulation by the uh, the vote counters is it ever going to be in favor of someone who is not either in the democratic or the republican party i would suppose not so given all this there are those who are rationally ignorant the people who who they suppose there's nothing they can do to change the system and in the end their vote really doesn't matter and so they 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 don't see any benefit in spending any time learning about political issues or um, anything having to do with with politics or government and they just kind of put that out of their lives they're not really interested in it, it they find it boring in the first place and um, since it, it wouldn't actually benefit them to spend any time at all involved in learning about it or acting on uh, whatever they may learn um, it makes sense the rational conclusion the rational concourse uh, the rational course of action is to not spend any time on it and that's there you get a little over half the population who just don't vote and don't really pay attention to anything they don't watch the news for the most part they don't read newspapers or listen to radio they listen to uh, music and whatnot when they watch television, they, they're, they're in it for entertainment. They want to be amused. They want to enjoy their time. They don't want to waste it. So they're the more rational ones, I think. Us who spend time worrying about uh, the direction the country's going to take, trying to change the world, we're, we're the irrational ones when it comes down to it. So... Anyway, all that to say, no, I don't think the, uh, I don't think people get the government they deserve. I think, uh, the government just does what it wants and there's really nothing that people can do about it. So that's it. Uh, oh, and the government is actually, uh, it's not like it's a, a, a thing. I attribute agency to it when I talk, but that's just for, uh, convenience sake. I understand that it's actually just people who are using it as a tool to, uh, enforce their will on other people.